All right, how's it going, y'all? Today, this is a continuation of my light sale tutorials on to how to set up a WordPress site. And for this one, we're gonna be going over how to set up SSL, which is a secure socket layer certificate. Basically, what this means is your traffic to and from your website will be encrypted. And so that's really important for two reasons. One, it gives users peace of mind. And two, it actually gives you preferential treatment on search engines. Sites that use only HTTP are actually automatically now lower ranked on Google just because it's less secure. So right now, if we go to this tutorial site that we set up in the last video, we're gonna see that it says not secure right here. That's because it is only HTTP, not HTTPS. So what we're gonna to wanna to do is request a certificate so the way we do that is really easy using AWS LightSail. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is log in to LightSail. And so this is my tutorial instance on LightSail. And so what we're gonna to wanna to do is go and connect to it over SSH. And so Bitnami has made doing this incredibly easy and will automatically renew your certificate for you every time it's about to expire. So the way you set up this tool is doing a sudo and then just type opt bitnami. So you just type sudo opt bitnami bn cert tool. And just click enter. And so now it'll go through and create the tool for you to automatically set up SSL and request the certificates and keep them up to date. Just say, yes, we would like to update it. And we're going to run that script again but now it should be updated. And so now all we have to do is enter a comma separated list of all the domains we plan to use. So for that, my website is hosted on tutorial.spacerex.co. So that's what we're gonna do. And just click enter. And so we are not using www. So I'm gonna click no. And it's gonna give us a warning. And so Bitnami will also automatically forward all your HTTP traffic to HTTPS traffic. So we're gonna say, yes, we would like that. And so now it's gonna tell us exactly what it's gonna do. One other thing to note, do not run this on a live website. And if you're going to, at least make sure to have a snapshot backup beforehand, just in case anything happens. And so now for Let's Encrypt, you actually need to have a valid email. So I'm gonna put my email in here agree to the end user license agreement. All right, and so now, just like that, we're done. So now let's go back to our site and we're gonna click refresh. And just that easy, it has gone from unsecure to secured by this little lock right here. And we can see right here that there is a Let's Encrypt certificate that is valid until November 19th. And so actually what I would recommend doing, just in case, is set up a calendar reminder, like maybe two weeks before this certificate expires, just to make sure that Bitnami automatically gets you that new certificate. But it should automatically, and just like that, you now have SSL on your website. All right, well, that's all I've got for you. It is just that easy. Go ahead and leave in the comments below any other tutorials you'd like to see me make, and have a good one. Bye.